Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to parent objects to metahumans, specifically holding objects such as a gun and a flashlight. Here are two short clips demoing how Eric, our metahuman, is holding the gun and the flashlight. A couple different approaches to parenting objects in Unreal. The more permanent option is to add it to the character blueprint. In that case, it is with the character as long as it's in the blueprint. Or the less permanent, more temporary option is to add the object to the level sequencer and attach slash parent it to the character in the level sequence. And you would have to add it every single level sequence that you create. I will break down both ways pretty quickly. Let's do this. So yeah, here is Eric, my metahuman. Um, for my short film. If you're interested in how I made this character, such as texturing his skin or the clothing or creating the clothing or the backpack or any of these assets, let me know. And um, yeah, we can go through that too. First, we're gonna pull up the blueprint for Eric and we're gonna go to the component section. And this is where I added like clothes and we can see the metahuman components basically. So yeah, so we're gonna go up here to add and we're gonna add static mesh. We're gonna name it flashlight and we're gonna drag it underneath the body component. So we want it to be parented to the body. Great, and then we're gonna come over to the right side under the details panel, and we're gonna select the static mesh as flashlight. Um, basically the mesh that we want, which is the flashlight. And there it is. All right, so our next step now is to parent this flashlight to the actual bone that we want. So under sockets on the right side under details, um, under parent socket here, we're gonna click this little search and we're gonna type in right hand, well just hand, and select the right hand, and boom, there it is. Now it's not centered and oriented properly, so we have to go ahead and align it so it'll properly line up during the animations. Also, you have to remember that I'm holding the flashlight like this, so it's like reverse if I was holding it like that. But yeah, okay, great, there we go. Okay, so now the flashlight is in Eric's hand, and if we pull up the animation here, um, this looks, looks like it's in the correct spot, but there's something weird going on also, and that's his fingers. Because my hand was hidden from the camera, the AI couldn't analyze it for the motion capture. So how do we fix that? All right, so first things first, we're gonna select the body, right click it and select bake to control rig, metahuman control rig, and then create, leave everything uh, as default. So boom, now we have all of the bones keyframed basically for this animation. So what we're gonna wanna do is grab just the fingers. So we're gonna open up our control rig here, scroll all the way to the bottom to our right hand, and we're gonna start with our thumb and then scroll down and grab our pinky. Now that's all of the bones in the hand. Click on the filters here and choose selected control rig controls. So it just shows those. And now I'm gonna highlight all of those keyframes for this entire animation from those bones and I'm gonna delete them. So now that they are deleted, we can see that there is no movement on these fingers. They just follow the hand move. Next step, we're going to align these fingers so that they cover the flashlight a little better. So I'm gonna fast forward to this part here. But yeah, this is just getting the hand to fit the flashlight a little better. All right, there we go. So. The flashlight fits in the hand a little better and the fingers aren't jumping around and he looks like he knows what he's doing. So now I'm going to re-export this animation with this new finger movement. So I'm going to right click on the body and select bake animation sequence. And I'm gonna save this to my mocap folder. And all right, we're just gonna bake this animation sequence here. All right, now I'm gonna delete this rig that we just exported. Now I'm gonna re-import the animation called Eric Hand Flashlight that we just exported. Top here, shave that off because that's where the animation doesn't work. And yeah, there we go. So, fingers aren't moving. Looks great, sneaking around Eric. All right, now that we have learned how to parent objects to characters through the blueprint with the flashlight, let's go ahead and learn how to parent objects more temporarily through the level sequencer with the gun. So this is the animation we have of Eric shooting the gun. This is the animation I recorded with Move. 
All right, first things first. So import your gun object. And here's my gun object. All right, once your object is added to your sequencer, click on the plus icon and go up to attach and choose your metahuman and then body. And I'm gonna type in hand here, the right hand again. And boom, there it is. It's showing up next to the bone. In the sequencer, you'll see under the gun object, you'll see a new attach layer with the metahuman. So yeah, let's just go ahead and move this gun around, but it's not in the right spot. So we need to adjust the transforms to get it in the right position. General position at first, just so it follows the animation in kind of a normal way, which it does. Okay, great. So now the next step is to get those fingers lined up correctly. So we're gonna right click on the body and select bake to control rig, metahuman control rig, and create just as we did last time. So once again, here are all of our keyframes for this animation. So we're gonna go ahead and expand our control rig and we're gonna select all of the fingers on the right hand, starting with our thumb and ending up with the pinky. Then I'm gonna go up here to the filters. You don't have to do this, but I just like to make sure it's just those that I'm grabbing because sometimes um, you grab extra stuff. So grab them all and delete them. So now we can put our own custom figure movement in. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and readjust the fingers kind of close like we did on the last one. So yeah. So now the gun moves with his hand and fires away as he stares blankly into space. Thousand yard stare. Thank you, Eric. All right, that's it. Pretty straightforward. Um, two different ways to parent. This is just basically me trying to figure out how to create things also. So if there's anything in this process that you're interested in as I create my short film, please let me know um, and we can talk about it. Yeah, all right, thanks.